one of the biggest things that you try and find over a pre-season period is to try and keep as many players as fit as you possibly can. Um, and we find ourselves going into the last 48 hours before the season kicks off and we've got a healthy squad, which is a positive thing. And I think from a performance point of view, you know, you're not going to set the world alight in your first game of pre-season, but you're just looking for a steady progression throughout the, throughout the games. And I think that has happened and I think the performance we put in last week against Coventry, um, you know, we're, we're near enough there to, to what we were looking for when that season kicks off uh, against Crawley. Oxford United Football Club's pre-season programme is nearly complete. After six long weeks of fitness training and ball work on the training pitch, the time is nearly upon the first team head coach, Michael Appleton, and his squad to begin the new season. This is a special season for the club, as it marks the 30th anniversary of their biggest achievement, winning the Milk Cup in 1986. United's pre-season has included friendly matches against Didcot Town, Woking, Eastleigh and finally Coventry City. However, before a ball is even kicked, the team took part in military training in RAF Benson, in the south of Oxfordshire, where they regained their fitness after the summer break. And it was also a good team building exercise ahead of the new season. Today though is just two days before the big kickoff, and Michael Appleton's side are going through their final preparations ahead of their first match, a home game against Crawley Town. Well this year it was quite interesting, for the first two days uh, we spent two days at RAF Benson uh, and that was literally just around team building and getting them doing tasks so we split them into units and, and small groups and getting thinking outside the box really, looking for who the intelligent ones are, looking for the leaders, looking for the followers and then once we did that you know I'm very much to get a ball at the feet as, possible, as quick as we possibly can so you know literally as soon as we start the training they, they, they did everything with a ball at the feet. The players usually train at the club's horse path training ground. However, today they are getting a feel for the newly laid turf at their home, the Kassam Stadium. They are taken through the first part of this morning session by Michael's assistant head coaches, Chris Allen and Derek Fazakali, while goalkeeping coach Wayne Brown puts the used goalkeepers through their paces in a separate session. As part of United's pre-season schedule, Michael and his squad flew to Austria in July. While there, they had a summer training camp and met supporters, while also taking on SC Wiener Neustadt in a friendly match. Michael Appleton talks about the importance of a trip abroad. We had, uh, we had three new signings. Uh, we had two players that had only been with us for a short period of time back in the last season, and one player who joined us for a full season on loan. Sorry, full season on loan is George Baldock. So, um, obviously, you know, Ryan Taylor, Sam Slocum, and um, Liam Sirkham, who, who, who were joining us for the first time. And that's a great opportunity for them to get the players a little bit better. It's okay them coming in here and spending a few hours a day and just working on the field and in the gym and, and in the canteen, etc. But I think when you have a go away for five, six, seven days, you have a lot of downtime. So you get to know players a little bit better. And it was good for me because I get to know who gets on well with who and you know what are the little um, groups that sort of find themselves working together and getting on with each other. As part of a number of community events, the club hosted three fans forum events in Whitney, Abingdon and Bicester, where supporters had the chance to ask questions to Michael Appleton, as well as Darrell Eels, the club's chairman, and Mark Ashen, the chief executive. The forums were hosted by Chris Williams, the club's communications manager, whose job it is to make sure that the media content is ready for distribution and up to scratch, as well as working hard on the match day programme. Chris speaks about the success of the events. The build-up to this week, uh, we've had an open training session here on the Monday where we had about 300 fans meeting the players. Then on Wednesday and Thursday we went out to Whitney and to Abingdon and we spoke to the fans. We let them ask questions, which is quite a brave thing to do. We've got one at Bista after this where they've had a game and that we'll get some questions there as well. Around about 200 people have come out just to meet the manager, the chairman uh, and the chief executive. They've asked really intelligent questions about where the club's going forwards and then hopefully on the pitch they've answered a few questions today as well. As seasons passed by, changes in the squad are made. However, club captain Jake Wright has been at Oxford United since he joined on a loan spell from Brighton and Hove Albion in 2009. After making his move permanent in 2010, he was named captain in 2011 and he's an experienced and influential part of the squad. He talks about the first few weeks of pre-season. Hard, not nice, a lot of running, no balls, um, just doing things as fast as you can, like a thousand metres, then four minute rest, a thousand metres again, and you know, we keep repeating you know, things like that. We do a, a VO2 test, which is a run on a treadmill as fast as you can with a, a mask on to get your oxygen levels and your, um, your heart rate and everything like that. Um, so it's just a lot of testing to see where you are, your body fats are done, 
see if you put on over, any other weight over the summer and um, you know you need to find out where you need to be for the start of the season. So we did the army camp, RAF camp, two days into the season, so that was two days um, just doing solving problems, you know, doing obstacle courses, um, doing fitness tests. Um, we had to build that, sort our own tents out and you know we had a time limit to do that, um, split up into groups, it was just a lot of um, like integrating the new players, like I said before, just getting to know them, doing it quickly. Um, but the running's pretty much the same as as always. You know, you can't do you can't do it different. You know, you, you set up a program and you just stick to that. In the summer transfer window, United signed five new players before the start of the season, including goalkeeper Sam Slocum, striker Ryan Taylor, midfielder Liam Sirkum, winger Kamar Roof, and right back Baldock on loan. New additions to the squad also include Freddie Grant, who is an 18-year-old first-year professional. Freddie spoke about his experience of training with the first team for the first time after coming through the Oxford United Academy. Uh, it's a quality experience. I've obviously come from the youth team, so the standard the standard in the youth team was good, but it was nowhere near as quick, and um, you know the intensity is a lot higher with the first team. So that itself is a lot harder. And then obviously the banter with the first team and just being involved with them is it's just re it's really good. Yeah, you know the standards that you have to hit with the first team is um, is a bit more pressure and. You obviously come in every day knowing that it's going to be a lot harder than it used to be. It is match day and the day has finally arrived for Michael and his squad to get their Skybet League 2 season up and running. As Oxford United staff and players alike through their final preparations, the fans start to gather outside the stadium for the first time since April and many are filled with optimism. Not only about the first match of the season, but the season as a whole. Hello, I'm Chalky, I'm from Whit uh, Aston, a little village called Aston outside of Whitney. I'm Stefan Bennett from Chilton near Harwell. I'm Shane from Whitney, a uh, lifelong supporter of Oxford United. Um, first time in five years, I'm actually excited about the start of the season. I think a much improved squad. I criticised Appleton last year, but I think he's got a bright squad together this year. I think we can do really well. And, uh, yeah, pretty confident for this season. I think they've got all the managements all in the right place. Everything seems to be moving in the right direction. It's, it's not just on the field, it's off the field. I think, you know, they've got, they're doing a lot of work and obviously they've spent a lot of money this season. And yeah, I'm, I'm confident. So. I'm hoping they could make it into the playoffs this year. I'm, I'm hoping. I hope for the team. So good players are in this season, so fingers crossed. With expectations among supporters of a playoff finish this season, the wait is over and it is time for the players to deliver on the pitch. The players make their way onto the pitch to great applause. Michael Appleton has named a strong starting eleven, and all five of the U's new signings are handed their competitive debuts. Jake Wright captains the side, however there is no place in the matchday squad for youngster Freddie Grant. made a bright start to the match and were dominant in the early exchanges. They couldn't capitalise on that despite being rarely tested by the visitors. The two sides went into the half-time break still level at 0-0. Crawley came out for the second half with much more attacking intent than the first. With 11 minutes into the second half their pressure resulted in the opening goal, scored by Guion Edwards. The buoyant Oxford crowd was now silenced and a swift response was needed. That is exactly what happened as last season's top scorer Danny Hilton latched onto Danny Rose's clever through ball to far home an equaliser in the 65th minute. Some late docks of pressure resulted in chances for Kamar Roof and Johnny Mullins, but were both denied by Crawley goalkeeper Freddie Woodman, and the youth had to settle for an opening day point.
One all was the final score. Frustrated, probably the word I'd probably use. Um, didn't really see them scoring today, if I'm being honest. They never really threatened the goal at any point. Um, they obviously come here for a point, the way they set up. So to concede the goal the way we did, that was um, that was very disappointing. Two or three of the players really switched off. But I suppose I've got to give the players credit that they, you know, they got back into the game and you know we scored a very good goal on the day. Oh, it's always stuff you can work on, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I think the good thing from our point of view, the next game is almost like a free game for us, you know, away at Brentford. They're the highest placed team in, in, the, in the League Cup so far and uh, we go there, you know, everyone's expecting us to lose the game, so we go there and, you know, hopefully we'll play with a little bit of freedom and enjoy it. Yeah, it's good to start the season with a goal. Uh, as a forward, you, want, you, you try and score in every game you play, so yeah, I'm delighted to uh, score on the opening day. Can't be too disappointed with, with a one-all draw, first game of the season against a team that was in the division above last last season. But uh, I think on the basis of the game, you know, I think we dominated uh, and we want to try and win every game. So yeah, a little bit disappointed, but you can't be too down. Uh, we want to have a successful season, you know, whatever that may be. Uh, we want to just, like I said, go into every game, try and win. Um, and I think, you know, if we play well, and we're only going to get fitter, sharper, better than that today. So uh, if we do that, you know, I think we can have a successful season. One point was the outcome for Oxford United on the opening day of the season, and head coach Michael Abton will be satisfied with the performance. And it is something that the squad can build on for the rest of the season. United followed up their opening day draw with a brilliant 4-0 away win against championship side Brentford in the first round of the League Cup. They were the playoff semi-finalists last season. Everyone connected with the U's will take a lot of confidence from the opening week of the season and there is definitely a cause for optimism for Oxford United in what is a special year for the club. Yeah, you've seen through the course of the week how much work's gone into it from everybody behind the scenes, commercial, community, all the press guys. So loads of work went into it. 6,300 people here and you don't want to let them down. So nobody's gone away from here thinking, oh, that was a poor game of football. Everybody's still got their hopes for the whole season, haven't they? So. Job half done. It'd be nice to have started with a win, but you walk away with a point and build from that, I think.